Before we begin exploring the websites that use this style, we will dive into what the bento box style is. It draws inspiration from the Japanese bento box, a simple way to transport food, which has individual compartments for each type of food. In web design, the bento box style was popularized by companies like Apple. It offers a structured yet flexible framework for organizing content. Each box can represent a specific piece of information, feature, or functionality, allowing users to easily navigate the content. This modular approach represents a clean, organized layout that enhances user experience by presenting information in a concise and accessible manner. Now let's see a few ways companies and individuals have used the bento box in their designs. Reloom has a simple but clean layout based on the bento grid. All the elements are above the fold, which means there's no scrolling required. While hovering an element, the others get blurred out, creating an interesting effect that isn't often used in web design. Having the team members in the navigation bar is a nice touch that creates a friendly vibe. Despite the uniformity and closeness of the elements, the design is intuitive, unique, and memorable. Nev Flynn has created a unique portfolio using the bento grid and subtle micro-interactions. The cards have different hover effects based on their purpose, but what is a nice touch is the dark and light mode toggle in the middle of the page. You wouldn't expect it there, but it still flows naturally. What completes his portfolio is the navigation bar that acts like a filtering system. Instead of opening a new page, the buttons move at the top of the page the relevant bento boxes, while blurring out the rest. With an interesting layout and interactions, this is a great way to approach building a portfolio. The next website is Nikati's Portfolio. It has subtle on-loop animations and a couple triggered by scrolling. It stays true to the classic portfolio approach, an introduction above the fold, followed by the projects, and a way to get in touch at the bottom. The only thing I'd change is the contrast of the social media icons. Their hover effect is barely noticeable. Atomized Design is a design system made for Figma. Its presentation website combines dark mode and the bento box style. Due to the colorful elements used, the glass morphism navigation bar creates a nice effect as you scroll down. The huge toggle button for the template's dark and light modes is a nice feature. I have not seen it done this way before. The animations triggered on scroll create a pleasant experience. This is a good example of how to use the bento box style. Kong's website blends dark mode with the bento grid and a sprinkle of neo-brutalism, which I love. A feature of the bento style is the animations within the boxes. Some are looping, while others are triggered by scrolling. The bold color choices set this project apart from other websites that use the bento grid and make a lasting impression. Diagram, the company that was acquired by Figma in 2023, has one of the most breathtaking websites I have seen. Each tool developed by Diagram has its own section with relevant information and eye-catching interactions. Besides the looping animations like the solar system in the hero section, each bento box has a hover or click animation, sometimes both. Exploring each element is like watching a Christopher Nolan movie for the first time. The Dimension website blends dark mode, bento grid, aurora, glass morphism, and interactions into a delightful experience. The gradient call to action and icons are a nice touch. This website takes the bento grid to a new level by making the boxes interactive. You can write, drag, or click on the elements inside the bento boxes. This is one of the websites that will be used as an example of good design for a long time. Based on what we've seen so far, we can conclude that many designs combine the bento box with dark backgrounds, glass morphism, and Aurora. Neo-Brutalism is also a solid choice. The product websites also go heavily into making the bento boxes interactive, but that could be a coincidence as they tend to do that to make their products more appealing. You can find more examples on bentogrids.com and dribble.com.